Now one of the things I want to do in this tutorial is to kind of review my slides and make some uh, minor adjustments uh, maybe to the photographs uh, so the look and feel is sort of the same and also kind of show you some of the tools, the photo tools or how you access the photo tools that are within uh, Microsoft PowerPoint. Uh, by the way, the tools that I'm going to show you are also available in Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, they kind of all work the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through here and I kind of like the way this slide looks and uh, again I don't right now have any kind of problem with this. This particular slide right here, one of the things that's kind of bugging me is the fact that this picture right here is sliding over into this area right here. So I'm going to go ahead and move that over. Now one of the things you can do is you can drag with your mouse if you want to, you know, like this, which sometimes becomes a little bit more difficult if you want to. Or you can use your arrow keys uh, to, uh, that are to the left of your uh, number keys on your keyboard. And you can move uh, just around, you can move a little bit at a time and that kind of helps uh, things a little bit. I'm going to go to the next one. And uh, this picture is kind of exposing, if I move this thing over what would happen is it, I'd end up, uh, you know, kind of, uh, if you will, uh, moving the picture off to, in order to get this. I can try that and see and it kind of looks okay but I need to make the picture a little bit smaller. One of the ways that I can do that is kind of maybe pull this up but that, that kind of doesn't really work for me. What I really need to do is get rid of some of the little side parts of the picture. So I'm going to try a little bit of a tweak here and see what happens. I could be wrong. So to do this I'm going to click on it once and what's going to happen is when uh, I double click on it, uh, you're going to see where I have some corrections that I can make up here, you know, color to the picture and things like that. One of the things that I'm going to do here is I want to crop this picture. So I'm not actually changing the size, I'm actually literally cropping it. You'll notice this is a funny little symbol where it looks like two V's that are sort of opposing each other. And when I do that I get this extra set of handles here and I'm going to kind of move this over a little bit here and I'm going to pull this handle in a little bit over here and uh, I'm going to maybe move the whole picture a little bit to the to the right here a little bit and then I'm just going to go ahead and press enter or click off of it sorry and it now re put the picture over here so I'm going to kind of kind of like the way that looks for right now at least um, and I think that's okay so in other words I use the crop tool to do that I'm going to move down here and uh, let me see, I'm going to look at this one here, it's protruding over, so I'm going to maybe just move this a little with my arrow keys to get that kind of shaped up. Move down here again, uh, right here, I need to move this picture over, I'm going to follow the same theme. Um, that'll kind of work, maybe down one, maybe down two, and uh, that kind of works. And then I'm going to go down here, and this one here definitely needs to be moved over a little bit to the right. Uh, that looks okay. Uh, maybe down one. Good on that one. Moving down here. This one's protruding over. Again, I may have to do some cropping here, but let me just uh, let me double click on it. Let me get the old crop tool and let me see if I just I'm going to try moving this over just a little bit here and then maybe move the whole picture over a little bit a little bit more, a little bit more, maybe pull a little bit over here. I'm not sure exactly how this is going to work. I'm going to cut a little bit of this guy's elbow off and again I'm going to click off of it and I think I've got enough room to kind of do that with the picture. I think I'm going to click on it one more time bring it down one notch. Okay so now we crop that off. Um, I'm going to get in here with this guy. Um, I looked at this picture and it's, it looks a little bit blurry in here. So in order to correct that I'm going to click on this again and I'm going to take and go for a correction but what I want to do is I want to sharpen this up. I, in other words the details in here are kind of blurry. So I want to sharpen this up a little bit and see if that's done anything for me. Maybe that a little bit more. I'll see later on. You can see the difference here when I click on here. See the guy's a little bit soft. The picture's a little soft and then when I go in here and I pick that it's a little bit stronger. I'm just going to try this. I'm not saying this is the best thing to do but it's a little bit it, when I blow it up it may look better. I'm um, going to go down here to this picture. Um, 
I'm going to move this thing over here a little bit to the right, move it maybe down a little bit. Um, kind of trying to figure out how what we can do with this picture, um, see if I can do any kind of corrections on here. Um, maybe try uh, to maybe see if I darken it a little bit. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. I'll go back over here. This is a little bit too light. So I'm going to go ahead and here and maybe darken it just a touch. Um, see how that looks. Um, and then uh, I'm going to go down here on this one. I think I need to move this over. It looks like I got quite a bit of room here to crop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here, double click on it. Double click on it. Pull my old friendly crop tool over. Maybe crop this a little bit like so. Maybe even pull this guy over here a little bit. Pull this over a little bit more. Click off of it. Then uh, go in here and maybe just pull this down just a tad. Um, and move it over just a tad. And that looks okay. And then go down to the last one down here. And I need to uh, probably, um, I've got a lot of room over here that I can kind of get rid of because the real subject of these people sitting here. So I'm going to kind of double click on this uh, again, double click, double click and get the old crop tool out here and maybe just notice that I'm actually making the picture, cropping out things that I don't want in the picture. Clip off of it. And I think I might move this over just a tad and maybe one more tad, maybe down a little bit. And again, this is all to taste and then go in there and that's my final slide. So uh, I've made all my changes. I'm going to go ahead up here and save. And that'll give you some kind of an idea on how you would maybe want to modify your presentation a little bit uh, to kind of uh, get it all sort of adjusted. Again, keep in mind that you may have very well needed to go in here and change your font a little bit, maybe made it bigger, smaller, whatever. And so that'll give you a rough idea of how we can modify or enhance our presentation.